question number 166 choose the incorrect statement the very first statement says similarity in proteins and genes performing a given function among diverse organisms give clues to common ancestry and this is a correct statement so cannot be a correct answer the second option says structural similarities among diverse living organisms point towards convergent evolution and as it is an incorrect statement this is a correct answer to our question because when the same structure develops along different direction due to adaptations to different needs it results in divergent evolution and these structures are homologous so there should be divergent evolution and not convergent evolution the third statement says divergent evolution is observed when the same structure developed along different directions due to adaptations to different needs and as it is a correct statement this cannot be a correct answer to our question the last statement says a study of fossils in different sedimentary layers indicates the geological period in which they existed it is also a correct statement so cannot be a correct answer to our question and the correct answer is option number two let's move on to the next question question number 167 match column one and column two in column one the first option given is artificial selection natural selection and adaptive radiation in column two the options are wild mustard biston carbonaria and darwin's finches now artificial selection of different parts of wild mustard was done to make broccoli cauliflower etc so a goes with the first option in column two second option in column two biston carbonaria was selected due to camouflage during industrial melanism and it is an example of natural selection so b in column one goes with second option in column two the last option in column one is adaptive radiation and in column two is darwin's finches darwin's finches exemplify adaptation according to needs so c in column one goes with three in column two so the correct answer to this question is option number three a with one b with two and c with three the first option a with two b with one and c with three is an incorrect option second option a three b one c two is incorrect the last option a with one b with three and c with two is also an incorrect option choose the correct option so the correct answer to this question is option number three let's move on to the next question question number 168 how many of the given animals in the box evolved from thecodons? And the options are snakes, tuataras, crocodiles, birds, turtles, lizards. Among the given options, crocodiles and birds evolved from thecodons, whereas snakes, tuataras, turtles, and lizards they evolved from sauropsids. So crocodiles and birds. from thecodons whereas others are from sauropsids among the given animals only two were evolved from thecodons so the correct answer is option number one so the correct answer to this question is option number one that is two option number two four option number three five option number four six are incorrect options and the correct answer is option number one let's move on to the next question question number 169 according to darwin evolution is a and the options are directionless process gradual process sudden process discontinuous process now according to darwin evolution is not a directionless process so option number one is incorrect it is a gradual process so option two is the correct answer to our question a gradual process which is based on chance events in nature according to hugo de Vries, mutations cause evolution which are sudden and directionless so option number three sudden process option number one directionless are applicable to mutations given by hugo de Vries. option number four discontinuous process also incorrect with respect to evolution according to darwin evolution is not a discontinuous process it is a continuous process so option number four is also incorrect and the correct answer to this question is option number two Let's move on to the next question. Question number 170. 
choose the odd one with respect to adaptive radiation in Australia. And the options are wombat, bandicoot, sugar glider, flying squirrel. If you have a look at the figure given in your NCRT, which represents adaptive radiation in Australian marsupials, you will see sugar glider, bandicoot, wombat, they exhibit adaptive radiation in Australia. And the odd one among the given options is option number four, flying squirrel, which is a placental mammal. Whereas option number one, option number two, bandicoot, option number three, sugar gliders, they exhibit adaptive radiation in Australia and cannot be a correct answer and the correct answer to this question is option number four. Let's move on to the next question. Mm -hmm.